Excuse me. May I drink after you? Ansimana. I'm good. Based on the best-selling novel by Nicholas Sparks, Love in the Time of Swine Flu. People are getting sick all over campus. <coughs> Say it's the swine's doing. Scared, Huxley. What if the swine get you? You, you, you. Swine. I promise. I will stay properly hydrated, and I will exercise regularly. Nothing's gonna happen to me. Nothing's gonna happen to you. Oh, Huxley. Oh, oh, you poor thing. You poor, poor thing. <laughs> Kelly, what's wrong? Hux, I have something to tell you. What is it? I... I... I don't love you anymore. I never did. No! I never want to see you again. Now you... You get out of here. Fly, baby, fly. Man's gotta follow his woman, don't you think? What are you talking about, old timer? I ain't never seen a man with stubble that ain't had his fair share of trouble. My baby don't love me. I thought we had something good, but she tossed me out like a piece of trash, like a dog. It's over. Well, I don't know much about women, but it sounds to me like she's got swine flu, and she doesn't want you to catch it, so she sent you away, but she still loves you, and is dying. Right. Now. Dying. <laughs> Come back. I'm sorry. Thank you. Smokey. Smokey. You're a good deus ex machina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Fly. Baby, fly. Yeah. Hugs. What are you doing here? I'm quarantined. Love. Those things I said, I, I didn't mean them, I'm sorry. Shh. Love means never having to speak. <coughs> I swear, <coughs> those swine are gonna pay for what they did to you. Don't you mind that. Dying from a preventable epidemic is just another part of life. I'm a college freshman. I've lived my life. It's my time. Now you get out of here. I didn't come all this way just to leave you again. You ain't gonna die alone. 
No, don't drink after me. You'll get it too. A man's got to follow his woman. Even if it means contracting a deadly virus. Tuition, a myriad of problems for college students. Increasing interest rates, federal loan applications, financial aid, or simply money out of your own pocket. However, it was not always this way. Okay, so what do you want to do with your money? I don't know. What do you want to do with your money? I don't know. We should pay our tuition. We don't have tuition. Oh, yeah. But trouble <laughs> soon ensued when a well-respected man said these words. Graciously you have obtained, graciously bestow. Thus triggering the beginning of the tuition bill. $40,000? Within each year came an increase in the tuition bill. $45,000? The madness of the ever so increasing tuition dollar continued. Expenses went to that of palm trees. Why $1,000 for a palm tree? Plasma TVs that won't play movies or TV shows. Why don't these plasmas play movies or TV shows? Our well-respected man simply had these words to say. Graciously you have obtained. Graciously bestow. But one day, a young man, a role model, rose up in hopes of starting a movement against the ever so increasing tuition bill. And even though we face difficulties in this semester and the next semester, I still have a vision. I have a vision that college students will rise up in defiance of their tuition bill. For we hold our tuition to be self-evident that all of it should equal zero. Why should we have to pay for our education? I have a vision that my 14 little children will one day live Take him in out, the boys. Should 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 we'll get him. Free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty that our tuition bill is free at last. Free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty. This revolutionary movement was going well. It was a good thing, but all good things must come to an end. As the well-respected man said, Graciously you have obtained, graciously bestow. Thank God Almighty, our tuition bill is free at last. Why did they tell me to check in at night? And it's so check in. Find your own way to your door. Welcome to college, man! Come on! Let's go! Welcome to college! Oh, my stuff! Hey, dude, you need some help with that? Yeah, thanks. Oh, yeah, no problem, bro. Hey, man, do you want me to carry it for you? Yeah, thanks.
It's so mean. It's so mean, dude. <laughs> it's okay. It's, it's okay. Why do you hate this? <laughs> God. Hey, what's up, my man? I'm your SLET. Oh, nice to meet you. Hey, do you drink? No. Oh, why not? What? Oh, you're more of a weed type of guy, alright. No. Yeah? Security cameras are down at Ralph's? I'm there. What up, bro? I'm your RA. Oh, nice. Hey, man. Listen, um, I think my SLA is offering me some alcohol. Oh, dude, dude. I will meet or beat anything he's trying to peddle you. Wait, what? Yeah, well, I, I got you, man. Okay, wait, what do you say? Yeah, dude, tonight we're gonna party and it's all on me, bro. Uh, I guess we start walking back to the dorms. No, dude, I think this is new student mugging. I heard that, like, they're supposed to give us root beer mugs with root beer in them. So it should be pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Dude, what? Ah, sweet, man. Yes, it's Monday. Yeah, Monday. And it's just finally over. What? That was terrible. Man, you were totally flat and you needed to be sharp. It's a tambourine. That gives you no excuse for a poor performance. Oh, and Jeff. Yes? Be more Indian. Indian? How so? You're coming off very Pakistani. But I'm half Indian, how can I not be Indian? The same way Michael Steele is Anglo-Saxon and Bruce Willis is black. Ah, then. Director Wayne Gordon, address me by my proper name on set, otherwise it detracts from my aura. Director Vane, are we done here? Where is my writer? Uh, I still think this is the part where everyone is happy and a joyous, a, a celebration. Really? I see it as a celebration too. A celebration of my film, my vision. It will be the glorious snare that makes that hack Danny Boyle slumdog millionaire look like you don't mess with the Zohan. Hey, I like Zohan. Oh, it's yeah. great. It's great. That's great. That's great. I agree. Quiet. I wasn't finished. Well, we still have to film the fight scene where Jeff's character saves Claire's from the vicious gang of Loyola Marymount students. All right then. You heard Brian. It's Ryan. Nobody cares. All right, then let's finish this scene. Now dance! Hey, everybody. Welcome to Movies. Two Zs. I'm Todd Seil. I'm your host. And today we're here with the director of the hit film, Bend It Like Benton. I'm here with director Wayne Rogan. How are you doing tonight, Wayne? Grand. Great. Now, I hear this film was a, was a personal project, a labor of love, if you will. Well, as you know, there's a grand conspiracy in Hollywood right now against uh, incredibly talented movie directors, so no one wanted to fund it. I... I don't quite follow. An aging Sean Penn winning over Brad Pitt. Kate Winslet, who's talented, but not Angelina Jolie talented, winning. It's a conspiracy, I tell you. And I'm caught right in the middle of it. Talent is both a gift and a curse. Okay. Um, w well, uh, what, what, what was the inspiration for this film, Bend It Like Benton? The inspiration for all my films is money. And uh, I made this movie for over half a million yen. Uh, and since I've made it, I've gotten more free stuff um, than ever before in my life. Some might call that conceit. I call that success. I'd call it a lot of things. Uh, you got star Jeff Meyer, uh, who recently starred in Omaha SWAT, to be in your film. How was he on set? Well, actually, I uh, brought a clip of it on set to show you. All right, that's good. Thank you. Good.
stupid man! You stupid fellow! Ah! 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 Yeah! Yeah! You idiot! Ah! 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 <laughs> Daisy, never give up, never surrender. Touch, no, dude. You could never beat me. Daisy's mine. Love conquers all. Angie! Yay! You saved me! Yay, thank you! Thank you! It's okay. He makes the lines come alive. Right. Well, moving on. Uh, this film is not without its critics, however. The, the Graphic, your school's own newspaper, printed an article saying not only is the movie offensive to East Indians, but it's possibly the most offensive portrayal of a race of people since Birth of a Nation. Wayne, how do you respond to that? You know, the movie will speak for itself, Todd. The movie will speak for itself. Uh, of course it will. <laughs> Check this out, man. I know you're studying and stuff, but this is one of the sweetest chord progressions I've come up with in a long time. So what I was thinking, man, is you grab your glockenspiel, we jam, we feel the beauty of the music. I know you're doing homework and stuff, I know that's happening, but this is, I mean, music comes first, man. I mean, we gotta get this done. I just feel it in my guts, dude. Just, I mean, listen to the music. You can't help it. Let's do it, bro. Hey, I was, uh, I was, I was, I was listening to you guys outside, and I really liked what I was hearing. I was wondering, maybe I could sing for you guys? Hmm? Maybe? Look, man, it's not that we think you're that bad or anything. It's just like, I don't think you understand us, what we're trying to do here. I was... We're artists, man. Yeah. And that's kind of, I mean, you're, you're, I mean, come on. 
I mean, we're trying to make music here, bro. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Right. We're trying to make music, I'm, and I'm, you're trying to just take over the limelight. Right. The limelight's not just for you; it's for the music. That's where the limelight belongs. Yeah, yeah you're right. You're right. Uh, what, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just. You can't do stuff like that and just get away with sorry. I think I'll just go. Yeah, how about you just go? Okay. I'll go. Mm. I'll be great! Now, as you can see, we have a pretty tasty meal here. If I can get this lizard, it'll account for most of my vitamins and minerals that I need. Keep my energies up, you know? No place too harsh. No conditions too extreme. No problem too unponderable. No situation too dangerous. Out in the middle of nowhere, all alone without crew, without proper food, without civilization. To prove one thing, he's a man. Grump Wilberbeast is the Wilder Man. All right, as you can see, I've got myself a bit of an infliction on my arm here, so what I'm going to do is make a makeshift sling so I can wrap it around, stop the infection. I'm going to have to use my pant leg here because as you know, there are no people within 300 miles of myself. No civilization, no human being, no medic, nothing. So I'm going to have to do it myself, you know, survive, survive, survive. So as you can see, I'm going to get my pant leg here. I'm going to rip it. You gotta be really careful that you don't rip your own flesh. Um, there's a know, there's a guy. There's this. a there's a guy. Oh. Um, hey, this is my wild. Are, are you making a show? My name is Grub Wilbur Beast. I think you probably heard of me. And this is my wilderness. Go home. You just threw a rock. You're gonna need to leave this here place. Go on. Wolf Glacier. Wolf Glacier's survival guide, Wolf right? Wolf Glacier, I've never even heard of you. Yeah, you haven't because you're nobody. Well, excuse me, Wolf Glacier, but you're um, going to have to leave. This is the middle of Vietnam, and there's no people around anywhere no around people. You, you brought your You brought his crew. You have a camera well, crew. I don't, I don't have a crew at all. There's, there's a man there's eating Doritos no in his sunglasses. There's anywhere around me. As you can see, I look, only look, have my bag, a, a, my knife, and There's a funny, look, there's a funny looking white boy with Gatorade. Gatorade? Excuse me. Ga you can't survive with Gatorade? Um, look, look. There's, no, there's nobody, nobody in around here. So, uh, oh god, the producers are not gonna like this one. Not the cameras. Oh, yeah. you know what I'm How do you do this? Shut up! Sometimes when the going gets tough, you have to eat tough things like rocks. Tough? You think that's tough? Oh, oh! I'll show you what tough is. Look at this, right here. You see this? Ah, uh, that's what we call Ted. Yes, one of the greatest sources of protein, fiber, vitamin C, and calcium. Yes. Yes, what? Oh, you can't. Big boy. That's what we call. That's what we call fiber, man. That's fiber. That's what we call being a man. <coughs> you can't handle me in my own bed. I eat this stuff breakfast, lunch, dinner, and then dessert. Because it comes right back. <coughs> now, as you can see, one faulty step will be the death of me. Gotta be really careful on the mountain side. It's about a thousand feet up in the air. If I fall, I'm... No, you're not. Nope. You're you're climbing mm. a, a bitty rock. Yes, yes, I made fire. I made fire. What? 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 Oh. 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 Sorry about that. You you're trying to do a fire here? Yes, I'm trying to make a fire. Oh. You're you're leaking on my fire. My bad. I just. I go out in the wilderness, so I didn't know. Oh, no! No! <laughs> yep. 
Didn't know that that oh, was going to be much wood a wood would have chopped in uh, in this situation here in Vietnam it's uh, it's pretty hard for a woodchuck but they get about pretty easily now a lot of uh, woodchucks around here are endangered so you know we try not to kill them here but whenever you're living out in the wild sometimes you gotta eat what you gotta eat big sausage pizza we got your big no, sausage pizza delivery no, right, right oh, here no. Disgusting. Yeah.